pay Drake, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna do after that. <laughs> All right, from Simi Valley Bowl. <laughs> We're here for the title matches of today's JBT event. We just had a <laughs> handicap division title match for the ages, which the crowd is still buzzing about. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got the Scratch Division now in their sixth frame. A top seed Joe Grondon is playing Austin Thompson. These guys are bowling in the endless tenth format, meaning if either of them strike on their final ball, they get to continue going as long as they continue striking. So no matter how much you lose by, as long as you strike on that last shot, you still have a chance to win the match. And despite a day of extraordinarily high scoring, we have a relatively low scoring title match here so far. Grondon doesn't yet have a JBT title. His only other title match didn't go so well. He's got 95 through 5th, which is currently good for a one-pin lead against Thompson, who started this match open-open, but then got the next three after that to crawl back in. All this after two 300 games today, one from Derek Acuff, one from Matt Swag. Austin opened the day with 795 for three games. Derek almost shot 300 again in the stepladder finals. The two handicap finalists just put up 535 between the two of them, 269 to 266. It is still loud behind us, and these two poor guys are trying to figure out how to deal with this scenario. Austin will trail by two if he spares this 2-4. He does. Unusual scenario here to say the least. Alright, I gotta take a breath after what is probably the best handicapped title match we've ever had. These endless scent things can turn quickly though. Austin has four JBT titles to his credit, did most of his damage in a furious run at the end of his handicap uh, career, winning his first title, and then the Invitational, and then the TPC. Has won a scratch title as well since, nice shot there for 10 in the fifth. Not to be lost in the shuffle, this young lady won her first career women's title today. That's Larise Chambers to get Alexis to win the girls' title. Lots of action here from Harley's. First time hosts, I, th I think they're going to want to come and host us again after seeing all this today. Great center. Clean, great staff. I, don't, I didn't remember a single machine problem all day long. Ah, oh, come on, man. Great shot from Joe, just no love. This happened to him in his previous title match at Keystone. Joe, by the way, wasn't leading this tournament until the final game of the tournament. Even though he qualified at plus 210 with a low game of 226, he had to catch Austin and Matt Zwag from behind to get this top seed. You only have to win this one game for the title. He'll still, though, lead by a pin with this conversion, which he has. If you told Joe Grunin he'd have 114 through 6 and have the lead, he would say baloney the way it's been going today with just strikes all over the place. But that is the situation. Dust is a mess. Joe taking a little extra time is finally things starting to settle down here a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, was crazy. That, that, that extra time is taking a great move here, by the way. Good shot. Bolt on Route 66 today, where there was a couple of HOV lanes on the highway as you had room to play today. This is a uh, house that's naturally high scoring with a lot of friction to the right, so by adding a pattern that had a lot of oil in the middle, all we essentially did was create a mountain of hold where there was already a mountain of hook equals astronomical scores, plus 70 cut in handicap, 23 up in scratch, and a chance to take the lead for Thompson right here. No. Didn't see too many flat tens today. Those kickbacks seem pretty juicy. Kicked out a lot of otherwise flat hits and messengers all over the place. But it'll still be a one pin game. The best thing for endless tenths is if they can match the count. If we can get it from a one pin game to a tie game, then we can have some bizarre situations come up in the tenth. Nicely done at the spare. See, so lets that ten pin know who's boss. 
We'll clear that dead one and be back for part two of the scratch match coming up.